Hello, I'm Susan Kessel, and you're watching Fairfield Public Access Television. We're here today at Democrat Design downtown on the Fairfield Square, and we have a very special guest. We have Donna Guy. Donna is a wonderful artist from Brighton, really Brighton. close to home. Yes, real close. I've known Donna for I don't know how long, years, 20, 25 years, and I have ser seen her turn into this wonderful artist. And she is our featured artist for the Fairfield Art Association show this month. And it will be running for two weeks. And I want to invite everyone in Fairfield to come and see the show. And it's a real delight. Um, I'm going to talk to Donna. And we're going to go around and look at her pieces and talk about some of the inspirations. And uh, you have a wonderful way of working. That I just love to hear about it. OK, we'll do that. When did you start watercoloring? Oh, probably 20 years ago, I would say. And before that, you worked in oil? Oil, yeah. I was started out as like a toll painter. A and toll then, painter? Yeah, toll painting. <laughs> so I've graduated. <laughs> <laughs> and we've taken a lot of uh, international artists' workshops together, and mm -hmm. you just seem to just absorb everything they tell you and yeah. incorporate it. Yeah, it's really fun and I change my styles. I, that's one way I get to change my styles. Although this last style, it just came to me. I don't know how. And what are you calling it? I know uh, that this show you're calling Impressions in Design. Yeah. Well, uh, there was one artist that uh, I, I kind of pick artists that I idolize. Mm -hmm. And gee, I won't be able to tell you his name. He's from Israel. Okay. But he does ladies very nice. You know what? I just saw a show in Hawaii, and the artist was from Israel. Yeah. And wonderful ladies. female figures. Oh, and I yes. think we're relating to the same yes. person. Yes, it is. That's who it is. And he just has him sitting there. At, it's just the way I've always I, wanted to paint. And I see them, and I know now that's the I one. Can t now I can take magazines, and I can use uh, the, you know, they've got them all, set, uh, all in different positions, and that's how I'm doing mine. Models. Models. I don't have the models, so what do I do? But I get magazines, and I take the models from there and just go. It doesn't look anything much like them, most generally. You do a real simple face, and the whole You're business. so creative. And that's the, so important in yes, art. Yes. And it definitely shows up. Yes. Let's um, walk over here okay. and take a look at this piece. Now, this piece is titled Charmed Collage. Yeah, well, uh, I worked on that in a little too long. <laughs> the painting. So, yes, so it got a little busy. And I was going to have a lady sitting there. But this side over here on let's the, see, right. the right side was not suiting me and I had painted another picture so now it's a collage I took that painting and I tore two strips and I covered some of the stuff I didn't like and then I liked it again oh that is wonderful the colors are just they, they wonderful they just seem to match because my palette doesn't change that much and I wish I could change my palette a little I try but my palette stays pretty well the same I know when we take Rose Eden's class, yeah. she recommends yeah. a certain palette, and you do you do adapt to the artist you're working yeah. under, but you yeah. always come through with your own Donna Guy yeah. style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And um, let's see, over here, this one is absolutely gorgeous, that yellow, and you're known for your purples. Yes, I have put a purple shawl on her. Um, uh, I go to Seifert's a lot, and they were needing a picture behind uh, their uh, counter, and I thought, I'm going to go home and paint them some ladies, and so I did, and I was really, really pleased with it. I had that mat at home, and I stuck it in there, and gee, I just, I believe I'll paint some more ladies. It was kind of my first ladies. So how long ago did you do this one? Uh, probably last spring. This last a, yeah, I have been just starting my ladies. Well, don't been. stop. <laughs> <laughs> they are wonderful. You've uh -huh. been known for your uh, florals. Yeah, Donna Guy yeah. florals, florals, yeah, florals. Yeah. yeah. But this, I think you're going to be known for this, too. Yeah. This is fun. 
This is a fun thing. And I like to design clothes, so this gives me a chance to be real way out, far out with clothes designs, I think. That's fun, too. I enjoy that. Let's come over here, and we've got two pieces. We've got, um, I believe that says number one, yes. Lady, Lady Aglow. Yes. Uh, this was from a magazine. I just took the... Uh, the pose. The pose was from a magazine. Now, I added the yes, trees. Yes, it's your art. Yeah, I it's added... The, I the added. The, yeah, I added everything structure. else. And she didn't have green hair in the, in, the, in the thing or anything, but now she has green hair and a whole bit. <laughs> Another thing is these pieces look stunning in this setting. Yes, they look very good in here. I um, think they do. They look like they belong here. You can get a feel. The next one is a collage. It's a lady. I tore out of another one. And then I, t I still wanted her. And so then I created this funny looking hat. <laughs> oh, it's great. Perfect. So, and the rest of it's collage. I just tore up another picture. And she's just looking through there. Now, you've given workshops on how to take a piece that you feel like is... Yeah, uh, well, now, this is one way of doing it. Uh, the, the collages is one way, and I've taught several collage workshops. And those mm -hmm. are so much yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Now, you were talking well, now this, about this one over here. Yeah, this is a collage where I made a collage, a full sheet collage, and it was just way too busy. So I go in my back room where I keep... I don't throw any paintings away. I keep them. And Every was, little shred. Yeah, and so <laughs> this one was laying back there, and I and I laid it, and see the same colors, it just blends right into this other one, but it calms it down. Yeah. So now I'm I'm doing this quite a bit right now, as I'm using a full sheet and then putting a half sheet on it, and then it looks like it's been matted with a. I don't know. That's great. Do you do your own matting and framing? No, 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 no way, no way. That's a whole nother job. That's a whole nother job, and as loose as I paint, you can imagine what the paint, the matting would look like if I done it. It would I not. I cannot be. cut a perfectly straight mat. No, I can't either. It's because we we feel like we ought to do something if different. If I have an important piece, I usually have it cut. <laughs> right. Yeah, I have all mine cut. And down here, oh down my here. goodness. This one uh, got a first place in uh, the Iowa Artist. And this is number six, Tale in What's Spirit, it? is that right? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, that one is really an abstract. Yeah. I don't even know what I was doing. I was, <laughs> I mean, I'm making lines and I'm just the doing whatever I feel like doing. I put the, what I did first, though, was I put on these dark patches, and that's my collage, the dark, mm -hmm. then I went in and I painted around these patches, and the next one to it, I made kind of a flower, kind of a floral out of, and it's also got the patches, the dark patches of a painting in it, but that and I turned into a floral, but this one is an abstract. Oh, those are beautiful. They just flow. The color is great. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is a little different to me. Well, this is, I went to a workshop, and let's see, Linda, no, it wasn't Linda Dahl. It was, um, I can't say A recent name. workshop? Yes, it was put on by the Iowa artist. Okay. And this one, you just put on washes and you find things. And this woman that I, the workshop I went to, she would find uh, religious. It looked kind of religious. And then mine started to look. And <laughs> I like thought, I, yeah, I think this looks just a little on the religious order uh -huh. for some reason. But it's just because she had a big influence on me. And that's the way I was painting. I still can do this. But now, how long ago was this? It wasn't last year. When did it all? Three years ago. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, we'll do one more piece on the wall over here. And right now, this is one of my favorites in the show. I'm, I'm attracted you know to that why? jacket on that. Well, you know why? You've got the yellow and the purple, which is the opposite on the yes. color wheel. And any time you do that, it draws your attention. And you know... Uh, I think uh, the legs are a little oversized, but uh, oh. 
they're towards you they and it gives wonderful yeah they uh, gives you uh, the feeling of depth and the floral there oh, yeah I always have to put a few I always have to put a few flowers in <laughs> of course or it wouldn't be Donna Guy yeah yeah I gotta put in a few flowers now we're gonna zip down here to this table right here in front of the camera and Donna is has become a wonderful China painter yes you you're president of the Iowa China Painter? I was president, but the biggest thing I've done lately is I've won an international award. Now, this is international. This is all over the world. Went to um, uh, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, and I entered a piece of my broken china, which is like that piece over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, the blue one. Mm-hmm. Boy, I... Uh, it's a piece that I have broken, and I've broken it on purpose. And this, I entered an international competition, and I didn't think I had a chance because they were very good. They were from all over the world, Brazil, everywhere. I mean, they have wonder, and I was kind of ashamed to take a broken piece of china. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they give 12 gold ribbons, and two went to the United States. And I was one of, and I about fell over. Donna, that is fabulous. And it was on my originality. Were they there? Were, that's were what I got it on. I've got to ask. Were there any other broken pieces there? No, no, I was it. That's why. Mm -hmm. That was. It was an original. I mean, that nobody has really come up. That's got a broken piece on it too. This one here that I'm pulling around. Mm -hmm. um, you've got some jewels. Mm-hmm. Um, the stained glass is the jewels, and we set it in uh, into a uh, enamel and fire it. It's all fired on. How long have you been doing china painting? Seventeen years. Seventeen. Quite years. a while. Yeah. And uh, that's different than watercolor. Yeah, similar in one respect that you keep the white of the china is your white. Okay. color like the so, paper so they always think china painting is like watercolor but i think it's quite different i mean i can't get it to run and do all the things that i can with wa watercolor. water yeah it's uh, it stays pretty well put so i kind of try to, i'm trying to get a watercolor look and they people that look at my china painting can tell i'm a watercolor because of my trying to get the look of a watercolor and i think probably the china painting is helping your watercolor and the watercolor yeah. is helping your china painting uh -huh. to both grow mm -hmm. and i don't know if you can get really close in at the beautiful detail of the berries well that is a that this particular piece is a like you know an antique but they make a replica Okay. So this is a replica of a of an antique, and so a lot of people pick on this particular piece because it does it is you can find it in the old okay. antiques. So they are making replicas for us to paint on. And if you're into uh, china teapots, mm -hmm. oh gorgeous the colors. That one particular one came from um, Czechoslovakia. We get our china blanks from uh, not many from the United States but from all over the world. So you have a supply that you order and keep it Yeah, we have a uh, guy uh, oh, several companies that have uh, blanks that we can order from and then we go to shows and that's why when I, I've been hitting all, a lot of uh, conventions now and getting my mm -hmm. name out there so they know I'm out here. Because I was afraid somebody else would snatch up my idea of breaking china and redoing it <laughs> so i can you uh, copyright that huh? in some way no i no. don't think i can copyright it's not it, that but easy. it but i'm i'm getting my name out there so i'm beginning to be known by the china painters it's kind of nice to be uh, be known you know yeah because i'm not known as a watercolor so i don't think it but the china painting i'm doing better in in the watercolor that's wonderful um, also, Donna won the Best of Show in the Iowa Artists a uh, couple years ago. I've won uh, the Best of Show, I think, twice, and the Richard Hagen once. Okay. Yeah, and several I, blue ribbons. <laughs> I relate to the Best of Show because I won that when I was 22 years old oh. in 1970-something. Um, Early <laughs> 70s, I won that, and it was a real... 
thrill. Isn't it, it is a real yes, thrill. Because you're up against hard competition anymore. It seems like they get better all the time out there. The And more even if the China painting is getting more is getting better you know it mine doesn't look like the little old-fashioned china painter that put a rose here and a rose there and mm -hmm. and mine has got a lot of background in i'm into backgrounds and i've got a lot of modeling in my backgrounds uh -huh. and so mine looks different than anybody's and are there any other pieces in this room no okay we'll stop the camera and move in the other room we are now in the uh the other room of the Democratic design, and we're looking at some other pieces yeah, of Donna Guy's, and um, we're on a different microphone system now, so we sound a little bit different, but that's all right. This piece here is absolutely beautiful, and I think reflecting the pottery. Yeah, and I think that helped too. It, it pulls. Really look at that gorgeous magenta color there. Mm -hmm. Pulls in that blue. Tell me about this piece. Well, I took the lady out of a magazine and then I added all the rest of it. It's all out of my head, make believe. And it's kind of like the one out there you said you hadn't seen me ever paint like this, but now I can paint. Uh -huh. uh, just It just negative, positive. Those shapes, shapes up uh, above her hat. Yeah, um, see, they're all just background. by doing negative, positive shapes and making shapes. And I do a lot of that, too. Uh -huh. I get carried away with it. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. And then over here... Well, I think that's part of me, probably, is uh, to overdo. Uh -huh. This in here, uh, I had this one picture, and I added another picture to it, and it's stuck on... Um, uh, it's a collage, and it's stuck on... Uh, a piece of map board and I hadn't done one like that so I tried that what a wonderful but you know that one garden out, do you know that one out there it had the hat that I said I made yes well this is the hat she had on it originally in the, oh. in the picture and now <laughs> it's just a wonderful shape at the yeah, top no, it's just a shape and I made a new hat for her uh -huh. I didn't so like. Just see, I didn't like the hat I had put on her. I put that in, in this one. <laughs> you just needed that shape of color up well, there. Well, the, the other thing that's good is, see, it echoes the hat that's on the person. Uh -huh. It's an echo. Anytime you can do that in a picture, and them flowers echo, them flowers echo, them flowers. If you do that yes. in a picture. And in threes and, uh -huh. and break things uh -huh. up in triangles and uh -huh. all kinds of things that you need to learn. Yes. But some of it is nice to... Um, come naturally which well it comes you if, if you work enough. long enough it comes to you naturally and you don't have to think about it so hard but it takes a lot of practice to do that right and we're going to go to a piece over here um, this one here uh, was um, I just put on color this is also just the shapes shapes are just plucked out of my head uh, there's uh, some stripes on there of another, of another, uh, it's a collage, uh -huh. but these are straight, these are not torn edges, these are straight edges. Cut. So you cut use edges. combinations of cut and cut. I don't use combinations because look at that one, it doesn't have any torn edges. When I right. tear edges, I tear all edges, maybe have a few, now that one over there had torn and cut, but that one there has just plain cut edges. Now, do different. you ever insert different papers? See, I haven't got it. You know why? I belong to an art association in Cedar Rapids, and they said you had to tear up your old watercolors. Okay. So, therefore, I thought, well, I can't use... So, I was trying to use all my things that I have painted rather than using, like, tissue, pa like, stuff like that. Different I've, kinds of rice paper yes, and yeah. oriental mm -hmm, papers. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it made me do it this way. There's yeah. always some good to some rules. <laughs> <laughs> this is a more traditional, yeah, sure. what yeah. I think of as yeah. Donna Guy yeah. um, for years. Yeah, I've done this for a long time. It's, it's uh, them I don't have to think too hard on. Come really natural. Mm -hmm. The main thing is to save your whites, and I, I have managed to do it in that one. That's very nice, and the 
the triangle shape of the whites mm -hmm. comes across mm -hmm. nicely. And is there another Let's one? See. Um, I think there's just one more and it's upstairs. I think. Okay. I don't think there's any more in here. So we'll uh, break and go in the other room. We're on the balcony level now at Democratic Design and we have one piece up here. Yes, and this one here, uh, I, she was asking me if I use the straight cut and, and the torn edges. This one has both, torn edges and... They're softly torn if they're torn. Yeah, they're torn, see? Okay, there I see are. now. They're there, it's just... It's the so naturally worked into your painting that yeah. you don't really see it. Yeah. And that's what you want. So this is just kind of like a garden looking through trellises and whatnot. It reminds me a tiny bit of Richard Dutton in some oh. of his architectural type angles yeah. that you look through. See, I've had Richard Dutton for a teacher. Uh-huh. We all, so it all comes out. Okay, let's yep. uh, go back down. Well, we hope that we've inspired our audience to come take a look at Donna Guy's exhibit at Democratic Design, uh, the Fairfield Arts Association's current exhibit. Donna is from Brighton, kind of a hometown girl. That's uh, doing I'm also a member of the Fairfield Art, Art Association. Association. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, she's done really well. We will have some of Donna's china painting mm -hmm. and some of her watercolors. Yeah, this year I'm going to try okay. and bring watercolors for the holiday art fair coming up Thanksgiving weekend. So um, you'll want to come and see that too. But thank you, Donna, for yeah. um, exhibiting. Thanks with for us. asking me. And. I've always got the pictures. All I need is a place to show them. <laughs> She's very prolific and very talented, and we are very grateful to have her show for the Fairfield Art Association. Thank you very much.